crossovers are a combination of cut filters to separate the audio spectrum in multiple independent bands. They have a single input and multiple outputs, one for each band. This can be classified by the number of bands and maximum slope, so we can find crossovers specified as 2, 3, 4, 5 or more bands, but usually more than 4 is rarely used. Or we can find crossovers specified as 24 dB per octave, 40 dB per octave, etc. And this can be passive or active. Passive crossovers are little circuit boards that usually live inside a loudspeaker. Active crossovers are usually separate devices that go before the amplifiers. Crossover frequencies, the cut frequencies between two adjacent filters, can be linked or controlled independently. And the filters can have different slopes or types. The crossover frequency defines the cutoff or roll-off frequency of adjacent filters. Some crossovers with more control offer the possibility to unlink adjacent filters. This allows us to control the cut frequency separately. The slope is the attenuation in dB per octave past the cutoff frequency. The slope can also be specified in orders. One order is equivalent to 6 dB per octave slope. The filter type defines the filter characteristic, like the cutoff behavior, frequency response, delay, etc. This will tell us how adjacent bands will interact with each other. The main types are Linkwitz Riley, Butterworth, and Bessel. In Linkwitz Riley filters, the cutoff frequency is at the minus 6 dB point, so when we sum acoustically, those signals will get back to 0 dB. Butterworth filters have a cutoff frequency at the minus 3 dB point, so when we sum them together, we'll get a 3 dB boost at the cutoff frequency.